Now, in general, all we need to do is just initiate a forward motion, a slight upward motion while turning around the shuttle. Again, in uh, normal operation, the shuttle has a mode that allows it to track a target. So all you need to do is uh, do the thrusting and the, uh, the, uh, the shuttle app will, com uh, will command the thrusters uh, to keep the shuttle, the, the ISS in place. As you can see, I drifted a bit to the right, I'll correcting to the left as we speak. Uh, so what we actually uh, we because we don't have this mode uh, on on SSM yet, we'll have to do it manually also. Uh, it's not a big deal. All you need to do is know the rates. I'm working on uh, on DJ's original rate, which is uh, plus zero point one of a degree. So let's just wait for time skip a bit. Have a drift. Okay. Now let's zoom in, zero in. That's it. Uh, so what we actually need to do is just the same. Free mode. Go to pitch. Start the pitch maneuver and then thrust. Now we're gonna need two thrusts, which uh, are our primary. We need the X to move forward. We need the Z to move up. The Y it has no meaning right now for us. So we just need those two in normal mode switch to free and again pitch to decrease rate again just pitch shove the stick in and pitch the nose up point one now as you can see we I haven't thrust yet and I'm gonna do several two and three seconds burns just look at the checklist you'll see how it's done let's start with one two three and wait. We'll give it a, a bit more time to stabilize and again we'll give it one, two, three and wait. As you can see the, uh, the station is drifting up just a tiny bit. So let's just thrust a bit and zero it in. Now closure rate will decrease in uh, initially and then start to increase as we have uh, thrusted forward. I waited uh, with the thrust this is why I waited for the cross to go down on the station because if I thrust I'll just go forward when we need to get a bit of an up motion. So I just waited a bit and then thrusted and it shoots at us on this trajectory. So what I'm gonna do is use the uh, minus Z which is towards the station thrusts to zero out the closure and even have a little bit of negative closure now as you can see it also changes uh, um, as I'm time skipping you'll see how the station changes its appearance and we're actually drawing an arc uh, around the station. Now, if you look, you see that my I'm not going up fast enough. This is why it looks like uh, I'm rolling, I'm pitching too fast. This is another thing that we need to pay attention. We can s stop, uh, zero this one out the pitch will stay s still change in a very slow rate because we're not uh, correcting for uh, LVLH drifts so that will help and go thrust in again to a slow closure and you'll see that the rate uh, the roll has changed a bit I'm not gonna correct with uh, right thrust right now and I'm not going to correct the roll I'm gonna wait till I'm stabilized on the V-bar to uh, the V-bar is the velocity bar it's the forward motion of the shuttle this axis I'm gonna wait till I'm stabilized on the V-bar the plus V actually and then I'll, I'll zero in everything back on LVLH and keep on going so right now we'll just time skip and we can 
see that as we close in we can slow can slowly uh, stop our upward motion because the station is drifting again I'm starting series of plus X thrusts to slow myself down towards the uh, rendezvous towards the 90 degrees mark right now I'm on 80 and we are slowly uh, approaching what's on the uh, manuals called the V-bar approach chapter. Now on that one you'll see a little diagram of the shuttle and a few steps, the last steps, towards the docking. Uh, now on real life this part is measured uh, docking port to docking port using a laser rangefinder. We don't have one. So, uh, what we're going to use is a set of pre-calculated uh, CG to CG, with it, which is the radar range that will allow us uh, quite accurately to uh, have those same distances measured. Now, we're approaching the 90, so let's switch to LVLH. And let's now I need to change let's pitch down you'll see uh, I'm thrusting plus X to stop the drift because I've stopped the pitch and the drift has uh, no that so let's drift slightly down and we need to correct the roll because we're using the minus Y and we actually need to yaw left so I'll just yaw and that's it now uh, we need to start closing in in general you want the v-bar to have roughly the same uh, distance you need to close in but you can't close in too far uh, in, in real life you don't close into the v-bar you don't go closer than 320 feet from the docking port without having stabilized on the v-bar in our case it's about 386 feet on the radar so as you want to keep yourself in a good distance no closer than 400 feet I think it's a good n round number to remember now uh, now I can start compensating for drift I'm still on pulse on the Y and I'm still uh, on rate on normal on the X so I'm just thrusting myself in slowly slowly um, I'm going now I'm going to uh, let go of uh, the elevation settings all I care is that the cross is dead on on the PMA with the correct attitude so I don't actually need this one and the drift uh, as we go closer you'll see it's uh, irrelevant because uh, you'll need a slightly uh, positive drift in order to keep the PMA so all we need is the rate now if you look you'll see that we need a 0 0.2 rate of closure all the way to uh, 110 feet to docking let's turn on the docking lights because we're crossing into the night side <coughs> 